everybody. Let's play this in full. The sound. I know you're strong, but accepting help is its own kind of strength. Okay. I. So I'm gonna turn off the sound, and uh, looking at your mail. Uh, basically, this detail, you want to change any broader things. Totally get it. This is just kind of detail stuff or things that stand out. So to me, I would say, you also mentioned that uh, he's a bit stiff. He is in places, I think for me, it's most like at, at the end, he looks over. And it's, it's, it's things like these where at the end, the brows move and they kind of move up with the corner of the, uh, of the mouth. But it feels like everything is isolated here. I think you could have, uh, is he doing this, but... What else can you do with the head and the body? This might be more than polishy things, but like right now, what stands out to me are just separate movements on characters. So like this, like is is he happy? Like when she leans over, would he? Is the tension fleeting, and then he would relax his shoulders and then lean a bit towards her and tilt her head a bit towards her? Like this might be a broader point and not polishy, but like that's I think to me would take the stiffness out of it. Or if I move actually this up a bit so you can see everything. So when you move this, like this arm is very even in timing. If you look at the movement over and then how it comes down, how the fingers come down, I think it would be, I would have this move that a bit faster because she just gets off the couch for balance. And then I would slow it down a bit here for a nice silhouette as in hesitating. Like, should I touch him? Should I not? How is he going to feel about this? And then, okay maybe not you know like it, it could be a gestural thing of of support and then it's just down here and even if not then it would still be, be giving this a bit of a pause and then maybe a bit of faster down i know it can't be like a, a slap but just varying the timing i think is going to help and the same thing on her arm when she moves that arm right it's coming hold on let me scrub here so when she does this this feels like it's super separate from her i see a move this way in her upper body but there's something it feels like some of those pranks you see when someone sits next to someone and the third person is hiding behind a couch and puts their arm over their shoulder so that when this person leaves an arm is still left i don't know if you've seen that that's kind of how this feels like where it feels a bit separate it's also the speed of this right there feel like it would have a bigger influence or something in there. It just feels a bit separate to me. Again, this might not be the super polishy stuff, but like these are the things that to me stand out. That arm, the timing is kind of slow and spliny. Then she's okay. Then this arm stood out. And it's even like one stop, two stop, where it just it just feels I don't know if that's a stiffness. To me this stands out more than and other things and then on him it's that at the end like to me these are the biggest things that stand out if you look at him otherwise like that's all pretty cool where it starts to get a bit wonky is when he turns his head and then it just stops there Bam! that stop feels really stiff the rest is pretty good here and then he starts to stiffen up here again so when she grabs him, then he just kind of starts to lock a little bit. There's a little bit of keep alive, but it feels like, okay, well, she's getting close and she's pulling him. How is that going to make him feel? Is he going to tense up a bit more? Is he going to lean his head away from, from her? Is he ready to for her to be that close? And you could potentially, let me see if I have to lean in a bit more. You could also have maybe a little bit of breathing in there so he doesn't just kind of hold. But not huge. To I me, mean, she is more the driver of the scene. I mean, she comes down and we see this, right? This kind of explains the whole context. And then it's all about her. Now let me bring the sound back. I know you're strong. But accepting help is its own kind of strength. I like her. I like, her. I like how subtle she is. To me, it's just more broader movement uh, in timing. I like your half blinks. You have a couple of these in towards the end. I, get, I think that's really cool. I like that she presses her 
lips together, a little anticipation before. I know you're strong. And how long you hold that shape. I think that's all really cool. I know you're strong. And you do... She has him... Like she tracks him, which is great. But accepting help? She has a little moment of thought there. I think that's okay too. I don't think we lose her pupils too much here. But accepting help? But accepting help? I think it works. You could accepting help. Help. I think it's okay the way the way the energy is in the sound. I don't think you need to push it more, but it, you could try a bit of a broader corner out help for the hair shape. But accepting help. But it doesn't I don't I don't feel like there's that much energy in the voice either. I don't think you need it. It could be interesting to explore, but you got a grouping of fingers. Help is its own. Its own. Is its own. I think things you could potentially explore and let me zoom in by opening this over here. Help. Accepting help. Is it? So it could be things like when you move your corner like this, it's isolated here. So if you take this and move it, it's going to push this a bit up. It's going to move that a bit up and in turn, maybe even move the tip a bit. They've got very pronounced noses. So you don't make these all too fleshy and squishy and stuff, but you can soften the area a bit more. So when you put on your uh, wireframe on shaded, you can see like how much of that mesh gets gets moved by that corner pull here and then push that. It's own kind of strength. Because you have it here. See that? You got You got some stuff here. But even like on this, I will pull it more. Just squishy, squishy this up a bit, I guess. Thanks. And maybe here too, as we have such a smile, feels like that corner could be pushed a bit more. And maybe even this area come up a bit more. Not sure you need that last one. This is extremely subjective. Don't follow this note, but it feels like oh, you have like there's a, there are a lot of turn of sound off. You, there are a lot of half blinks and flutter blinks. Should be a technical term, a flutter blink. And at the end, to me, it's almost like you want to rest, but then at the end, you have a bit of a beep. It just almost feels too poppy sharp at the end for something where we want to linger. I don't know. Personally, I would take it out, but this is not a technical note. That's a Subjective note there. And I think for him, what would help? I mean, stay zoomed in. Let me just see. Talks like he weeps and that's <sighs> like here. He's also, let me screw up, just double check before I say something stupid. No, he's all, he's, his mouth is always closed. Like if you're just going like this, you might be a, <sighs> like this could be an open mouth position now. And then a bit of an exhale, <sighs> open the mouth. And then on this, Maybe because she gets too close, he's not quite ready. Maybe he tenses up, shoulders up, and then that brings the mouth back to a close. And then when he does this, again, he might open the mouth a bit with a slight corner. Yeah, he does it here, right? So, but with a slight opening, maybe. I think the stiffness also that you might be feeling is that there's nothing going on in terms of opening. We never see a change in there. And to me, especially through here, would be something. Or unless he just never wants to be a mouth breather. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of that. I still think it's a really cool shot. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there. So yeah, these are kind of my... I know you asked for polishy stuff. Like some things are a bit polishy, but I still feel like some other aspects um, would be neat if you still want to go back to it. I think you mentioned a bit of a shot fatigue. So it's okay if you don't want to go back, but maybe think about these um, just notes if you move on to another shot. Just in terms of timing and separation of movements and stuff like that. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.